Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm just doing a shorter video today and I'm doing it from the front facing camera. So if my eyes wander from over here to like the side, it's because I'm using the front camera and I'm getting distracted by watching myself. <laughs> but I was going through my collection and I was reminiscing about shows and because I've been doing the rearrangement, obviously you can't see it. It's kind of around here. I don't know if I can turn this camera and show, but yeah, I'm rearranging all that. But I was getting really nostalgic because I came past a show when I was moving stuff around and I didn't, I know I had it, but I was reminiscing and I was like, wow. And Kenny vs. Benny, who remembers this show? Like this was an amazing show when it came out. Now it spawned many of things like Ed vs. Spencer and all that other shows that when it came out, copycat shows. But this is one of the best shows in my opinion ever made. Like it's obviously two friends battle to, to see like glory for the winner, humiliation for the loser is essentially what it's the premise of the show is, you know, they have competitions during the course of the show. And obviously, yeah, that's, um, that's Kenny Hotz there. Obviously you may know him from, um, Zach and Miri, that movie in 2008. He's the guy who says there can only be one, you know, the Sean Connery line, but yeah, he's, um, they call him the Canadian George Clooney. And obviously, um, yeah, that's, uh, Spencer Rice, Spenny. And they call him the David Schwimmer of Canada. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, interesting show. Um, Kenny Hotz has been putting these back up on thing. I believe he's putting, putting them on his YouTube channel, then putting them, I believe, on Patreon and in 4K resolution and all that. But I am a, I'm holding out to see if Kenny does a 4K box set. I wonder if he will. <laughs> I don't know. Kenny follows me on TikTok, which is really, really awesome. But also, I need to get him following the Instagram because I'm more active on Instagram. But, I mean, it's one of my favorite shows that I grew up on. I mean, I've still got in like a case here somewhere. Actually, I do have the case. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to have a quick look here, guys, because back in the day, you couldn't get those in Australia. So, obviously, importing was a lot harder back, um, you know, 10 odd years ago. It was a lot harder to get things in Australia. Uh, even 20 odd years ago, even. But I used to record them off the Comedy Channel, or which was the Foxtel channel here in Australia. And I still have, like, um, obviously this is my old case of stuff I recorded offline, off uh, TV. Obviously got the first season of Wild and Out with Nick Cannon on here that I recorded, Philosophy. But I've also got, like, Kenny vs. Benny, Disc 1, Disc 2, Disc 3, Disc 4, Disc 5. You could tell you I loved this show when I was, when I was on Comedy Channel in Australia. And likewise, when I had the opportunity to acquire the official DVDs, I jumped at the opportunity. I got them imported. I ordered them from eBay. And yeah, now I have the official, all of the official seasons on DVD. And yeah, obviously I did some cards there early on, but I should really do a proper rundown of these. But yeah, it's a really cool experience, this show. And really funny show overall. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but... Actually, it is for everyone. Go and watch Kenny vs. Benny. <laughs> but I absolutely love this show. I love the premise of the show. I love how the chemistry between Kenny and Spenny were, how they were two friends who would battle against each other. And yeah, it obviously it was copied. It was very much copied. And yeah, I'm hoping that Kenny at least does a Blu-ray because look, something like Kenny vs. Benny, I know Kenny was trying to ship this around to Netflix and get it on Netflix and Amazon and trying to get the show on a streaming service. But I believe the fans of this show, like me, are insane and will pay a crazy price just to have them on Blu-ray at least. Or even 4K. If he does the 4K transfers, even if it's up res properly, then I would jump at the opportunity to my one of my favorite shows on 4K or even Blu-ray if that's all we get. But like, yeah, I absolutely love the show. I can't recommend it enough. I was just nostalgic for it because I came past it when I was moving things around and what can I say? Watch Kenny vs. Benny if you haven't watched it. I think, yeah, as I said, I think Kenny has some episodes on his YouTube. I'm not 100% sure if they're still there. I mean, like, he has to take them down some so often because some of the content for, from these shows are a bit out there. You can't really put them on the on YouTube, all of them, in their uncensored form. But I believe he has some of them up on his Patreon. And um, yeah, they're in 4K quality on his Patreon. And I'm not getting any sponsorship from Kenny or Spenny or any of the producers or anything to talk about this. I was just rearranging my collection and I got nostalgic thinking, Kenny vs. Spenny, yeah, like, 
and then I was like, I should make a YouTube video. I don't know how many people have even heard about this show outside of the outside of Canada, outside of Australia, outside of the US. I mean, I don't even know if the US has heard of it. But this is one of those shows that really, I, I watched every episode of it when it was on Foxtel, when it was on the Comedy Channel. And I'm really hopeful that Kenny will restore him at some point. I mean, he's got those restored versions he's been rescanning back in. And I really hope he does like a 4K or at least a Blu-ray just so we can have these in high definition and have an official copy on the shelf. And yes, while look, he may get better returns over term, terms of time by getting them on a Netflix or an Amazon, I don't see how like he could have that and then also have the Blu-ray revenue and have the 4K revenue. I think that would help him overall. Or maybe I'm just making this YouTube video so hopefully he hears a collector who does buy all the seasons who used to record it off the comedy channel and say, here's our core demographic. Let's let's make a box set and, okay, how much can we put it up for? I mean, that would seem awesome. Like if we can get as fans a definitive box set of Kenny versus Benny with all the uncensored stuff, all the stuff that never, never made it there, if they can put it on there. I mean, I don't know how legality there's some things you can't put on there. But yeah, it would be cool to have Kenny versus Benny. That's all I'm going to say. If you haven't watched Kenny vs. Penny, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.